Hey everyone, it's Eric with shuckabuck.com with another Teespring tutorial. In this one, I'm going to go over how to create your ad images for your Facebook ads. And it's pretty simple. Um, there's a few ways you can do it. And the one way is the free way that I'm going to show you right now using Canva and GIMP. And um, I'm going to go through how to set up a basic ad image. And when you're testing your shirts, I do suggest you use the page post engagement or boosting post option. And this is the image that you want to use with that. So to get into it, first of all, we need to grab our shirt design. So if you are selling on Teespring, you can go and find your shirt. And I'm just going to click on one of these. And what you want to do is save the image of your shirt. So I'm going to right click save image as I've already done this. So I'm not going to do it right now. It's saved to my desktop. Once you have that, you need to get rid of the white background because this image will have a white background. So to get rid of that, we're going to open up GIMP and GIMP is free. So I'm going to go, I'm going to type in GIMP online and you can use an app with it instead of downloading the entire thing. So I'm just going to launch it online and I'm going to take a test drive. I usually don't use GIMP. I use Photoshop, but um, if you don't have Photoshop because it is pretty expensive, um, GIMP will work just fine. And as soon as everything loads up here, I will get into how to get rid of this background. So we need to, I'm guessing, open. Uh, sign up required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. Since I use Photoshop, I haven't used GIMP in a long time. But basically, you use this magic wand tool right here. So let me open up Photoshop here, and I will go into File and Open. I'm going to grab the shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as you can see, the tools are very similar. So I'm going to click on the magic wand tool. I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to click delete. Actually, this is a not a PNG file. So I'm going to go file new and I'm going to open just a 1000 by 1000 pixel new thing. And I'm going to take the background layer off and I'm going to should have done this before this video, but I'm going to take the background layer off. Maybe I can't because there's nothing else on there. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab this and move it over to here. And then since we're on the t-shirt layer, we can select that background and delete it. Now it's deleted. Now you can't see it, but if we undo this background, now you can. So I'm just going to crop this image and enter. And here we go. So we're all done with that. Now that we have the background done, I'm going to save for web and devices. So it saves as a PNG and I'm going to name it number two. All right, so we're all done with Photoshop. Now, another um, a free tool that you can use is called Canva. And I'm sure a lot of you know what Canva is, C-A-N-V-A.com. You can create a free account and you can create all the social media images that you need for free using this. Um, so what we need to do is create a social media image. So it's going to be a page post engagement ad, which means you want a square image. So 800 by 800 pixels is fine. So it's going to open this up into a new window and canvas or Canva has a number of layouts and elements and text you can use and you can use uh, some other backgrounds and you can upload your own stuff. So I'm going to trash that. Um, what we want to do is we're actually going to create a background and the background that I like to use is a wood background just because it um, really catches the eye and I've tested this um, with a number of different shirts with a number of different backgrounds 
and the wood background tends to work best. So I'm just going to go wood background in Google and search for images and you can use whatever wood background you want. So I'm going to choose the one with the lights looks interesting. I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to save image as All right, so we're going to save this wood background to the desktop, and we're going to go over to Canva again, and we're going to upload that background. Then you just click on it, and then you can drag and hold, or click and drag, I should say. Now we have a background. All right, now we need to upload the design of the shirt that we did, which was this number two. Oops. And here we go. Now we have a design. Oops, where'd the Where'd the other background go? Did I undo something? Hmm. Alright, so we grab the background again. I think it's my mouse that's doing this. Let's just grab the background. And then the shirt. And all we got to do is save this. If you can hear that, those are the cats in the background. All right, and then we can download that image. And the background went away again for some reason. I'm not sure why, but basically you download it as a high-quality PNG and you're all set to start a page post engagement ad. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I went through on this video, you can email me, eric at shuckabuck.com, um, and we'll talk to you later.